Welcome back to Underwater Math. It's Nigel here and today we will be discussing place value. More specifically, place value in standard form. Wowza! Check out this treasure chest, overflowing with gold. I wonder how much money this is. Place value is something that will help you forever in math. You have seen these base 10 blocks before. The flat cube has a value of 100, the rod has a value of 10, and the single block has a value of 1. To help us even more, we are going to use a place value chart. The total amount of money in dollars is represented by the base 10 blocks. Let's see how much money in gold we found. How many hundreds do we have? 100, 200, 300, 400. What is the value of four hundreds? Four hundred. How many tens do we have? One ten, two ten. What is the value of two tens? You got it, twenty. And let's count the ones. One, two, three. Three ones. Well, guess what? When we write it out in our place value chart, we write the number in standard form. It's just the same. So, the gold's value is $423. Thanks for helping me. Let's do another. What would the value of gold be if I added this gem to the treasure? First, let's look at the base 10 blocks. How many hundreds do we have? 100, 200, 300, 400, 500, 600. What's the value of 600s? Yes, yeah, 600. How many tens? That's 110, 2 tens, 3 tens, 4 tens, 5 tens, 6 tens, and 7 tens. What's the value of 7 tens? That's right, 70. Now for the ones. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. 7 ones. So this is our number in standard form. 677. With the added gemstone, the gold's value is now $677. Alrighty mates. Great job today reviewing place value in standard form. I'll see you next when we review place value in word or expanded form. Keep practicing.